let's look at Python strings. Let's jump right into our text editor, whatever text editor you'd like to use. And Python. I'm going to call this strings.py. I'm going to start off once again telling the computer what my uh, language I'm writing in is. User bin Python. So pound exclamation user bin Python. Uh, and we're going to start off. We're going to uh, just do print hello world. That has to be in parentheses. Save it. Make it executable. We'll change mod plus x, and which makes it executable, and the name of our file. And then dot slash to run it. And we printed out hello world. Already have gone over this in previous tutorials, but now let's get a little more complex. Instead of printing that right out, we'll create a variable. We'll create the air variable x and set it equal to hello world. And we will print x. And we will see that the output is the same. But now we can also do print x times 5. And what this will do, it prints the string five times. Hello world, hello world, hello world, hello world, and hello world. To make it a little clearer to read, we'll put a space at the end here. And there we go, we got our hello worlds all out there. Another thing we can do is the uh, use backslash n like so. That means new line. So it will start a new line at the end of each print. Run it again, and we got Hello world printed five times uh, going down the list like that. Another thing we can do is we can set x equal to hello. And we'll add a space in there. And we'll set y equal to world. And we'll put print x plus y like so and we get hello world because we're adding the two strings together hello and world another thing we can do is uh, we can still multiply that by five but it's multiplying the y times five instead of the whole string should be able to Put this in parentheses like so, run it, and now it's doing that whole section. It adds those together and then multiplies it by 5. Once again, if we add a space here or even a new line there, it makes it a little bit easier to read. We should also be able to do something like this. And, uh, comma, new line. Oh, no, that doesn't work. I thought that would work. Maybe if we add it. Nope. I should try things before I try them in videos. I just had an idea thinking that would work. Probably could do it like so. Oh, I know what I'm doing wrong. That does work if I put it here. It was doing the new line, but after it multiplied it by five. So if I want to do a new line each time, we're going to have to add a uh, new line like so. Let's give that a try. No, that does not work either. Let's try. I'm going to get this. I know I am. There we go. I don't know why I did a comma there, plus. So we got x equals hello, y equals world. Then we take x, add it to world, so x add it to y, so we got hello world and new line, and then we multiply that by five. <laughs> Thank you for sticking with me while I struggled through that. Um, like I said, I should try things before I start recording, but hey, I'm not re-recording this. So that was just one quick look at strings and how to manipulate them.
keep watching for more visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials uh, like this have a great day